In this video I'm going to demonstrate how you would go about choosing a background picture uh, that you might want to use on your graphing calculator. In the calculator window over here right now I'm just showing the coordinate plane and the background is just plain white. Alright, a lot of times it will be helpful. Uh, you can pull a picture in and then you can do some regression and come up with the equations that go along with the various curves that you would see in the picture. I might want to make a special note here that this video will not show you how to actually import the picture into your calculator. Um, I do have a video on my channel that will show that, but basically that involves taking your graphing calculator, plugging it up to a computer, using the TI Connect CE software, and then that's what allows you to import a background picture um, into the calculator. Okay? Th but at this point we're going to assume that that's already been done. Now, first thing I need to do is go into a menu. So I'm going to do second format. That's going to give me a great big long menu here. All the way down at the bottom is the background menu. I'm going to choose to arrow up as opposed to arrow down just because it's going to get me there faster. Now, right now it was set to off because as you recall, the coordinate plane had a white background. So basically no background picture. It was just white. All right, as I begin to arrow to the right, I'm going to see some images, whatever has been stored in these images. When you buy the calculator, you will have a few images that are automatically stored in there, and then, of course, you can import over them. I believe there are uh, 10 different slots. You can keep 10 different pictures in at any given time. So these images right here are ones that have come on the calculator. And now these are some pictures that I have imported in. Now, I left image 8 blank right here. This is what it would look like if you did not have any picture stored in a particular slot. Let's go to 9. Let's use 9 because that's a bridge that I've imported here. All right, now once you've selected the image you want, you're going to hit Enter just to be on the safe side. Now if I go and hit Graph and go back to the graph, then the background picture is underneath the X and Y axis. All right, and then like I said earlier, you would use this if maybe you were going to do a regression. Obviously, we see a parabola, an upside down parabola there. So I could use um, a quadratic regression that the calculator would allow me to do, and I could come up with the curve that matches that bridge. Uh, so just a quick demonstration there on how you would select your background picture after it has already been imported into your calculator. If you found this was helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and be sure and share with your friends. And definitely thanks for watching.